A strange, deadly mystery is brewing in Bradenton. Officials say a large number of people have died from rare cancers, and they're all alumni from the old Bayshore High School. They think there's a connection, and now the school board wants an investigation. Eight on your side's John Rogers has been diving deeper into this scary trend. He joins us live from Manatee County to tell us about it. John? Good evening, Jen. We're talking about, of course, the old Bayshore High School. They used to sit on this plot of land here in Bradenton near the current Bayshore High School. Now, alumni from this old school tell me that they think contaminated water may have been the cause of this. This gets on to college now. Betty Lou Rockline beans when she talks about her daughter, Denise. She lived life to the fullest with a contagious smile. She crammed everything into every minute of her day, so she was a very happy person. But Denise was masking a terrible pain. In her adult years, Denise developed three different aggressive forms of cancer, and her daughter Shannon was born with a rare brain defect. The two died only months apart. Denise was 46, and Shannon was 15. Her family suspects the culprit may have been contaminated water at Denise's alma mater, Bayshore High School. We're willing to say that it's possible, but more investigation needs to be done. Alumni have reported more than 400 cases of cancer or birth defects, and it gets worse. Reports have shown the alumni have higher than average numbers of breast cancer, leukemia, and lymphoma. The school has since been torn down, but for decades it relied on well water, and officials say fuel tanks were buried underground nearby. This week, the school board announced they will support the county commission to investigate these claims. If you're not looking in the right place, you can look everywhere and not find anything. Um, so, you know, Perhaps uh, there's, there's other places we can look or there's other tests that can be done. Rockline wants this mystery solved so no one else has to endure her pain. I don't get angry at anything, but, you know, just like everybody else, we'd like some answers. Over the past 20 years, there actually have been a series of environmental studies out here looking for that exact same thing that we're talking about today, and no conclusive evidence was found. But these alumni are not quitting. They're hoping through this new effort, a new study will be found where they hopefully can dig deeper and finally find the answers to this mystery. Jen? All right, John Rogers reporting live for us. Thank you, John.